Alright guys, what is going on? Voodoo51292 here, and today is a very special day. It's a day that's been a long time in coming. It is the official channel launch day, uh, March the 5th of 2011, uh, and this is the official Voodoo51292 channel uh, launch promotional video. Um, so basically I'm going to start off by telling everybody who uh, who doesn't know who I am yet, kind of who I am and, and, and what you're going to see on this channel, and then we're going to delve into the games that I'll actually be playing on this channel through the first half of the year, basically through May. Um, so basically, if you don't know who I am, um, or more importantly, what I'm going to be, uh, what, you, what kind of footage you're going to see, if you want to know who I am, there's a video for that I'll talk about, but as far as um, what you're going to see on this channel, well, basically, I'm going to be doing um, playthroughs of different games for the PlayStation 3, and uh, I'm going to be doing live commentary over them. Uh, basically means that I'm going to be using the, the video camera you see right now. I'm going to aim it at the screen. I'm going to zoom it in the best I can to film the screen. And then I'll be sitting down playing and providing live commentary, meaning the commentary you hear is from me at that moment. It syncs up to the game perfectly because I'm there. I'm, it's my live commentary on the game. It's what's happening. Uh, my live reaction is what's happening on the screen. It's not redubbed. It's not... Um, I don't direct feed and then commentate over it. The footage and the commentary are simultaneous. The commentary is me sitting there playing the game and commenting on what I'm seeing. Okay. Uh, basically, this video model was in, was was inspired by Dark Side Phil. Uh, it's the same technique he uses, and I uh, you know I, I want to give him his due credit. He's actually my inspiration for this channel. I'm not trying to take viewers away from him. Uh, I'm not trying to rip him off or you know steal his technique or copy it or anything else. I'm doing this technique because I really liked the way Phil did it and I'm trying to bring it to my own channel. Um, so, uh, you know, I want to give him his due credit that this kind of filming method is his idea and not mine. I'm just uh, uh, an inspired fan who decided to start his own channel because of Phil. But uh, So yeah, if you like the kind of stuff he does and stuff, that's exactly what I'm going to be doing. Um, trying to make it funny and, and, uh, and you know, um, provide some entertainment while watching the game at the same time. So um, I'm going to be doing campaigns of these games. I'm going to do multiplayer if I can uh, for games that have multiplayer. Obviously, if there's any co-op gameplay that I think is going to be really interesting, I'll do that. Um, and then after every single game I play, um, I'm going to be doing uh, which is something that's pretty unique to my channel. I think, and they're they're basically full, honest, and thorough game reviews. Um, some of those are pretty long. I would encourage you to go see the ones I already have up on the channel so you understand what those are. Basically, they're uh, me going in-depth about the entire game, the ins and outs of the game, but without ruining it, without spoiling it. There's no spoilers in those game reviews. Uh, I don't reveal any of the plot or anything like that. But basically, I go through and explain to you the pros and the cons of the game, um, the kind of things you can expect in the game, and I even provide some helpful tips for your gameplay. And these reviews are basically for people who are thinking about getting the games, but you know they don't really know what to expect, and they want to make sure that they're actually getting what they think they're getting. Uh, you can watch my game review, and I'm extremely thorough and extremely honest with my opinions, and uh, you'll know basically the ins and outs of the game uh, without having any of it spoiled for you. Uh, so they're, they're really useful, and I encourage you to watch those if you're thinking about getting the game, and uh, you want a, a review of the game, what you can expect without having the game ruined for you. So you can do that. Also, um, for some games that I think are, have really interesting plots or interesting things that happen in the game, I'll be doing something called the Let's Chat series. I only have one video up right now in that series, and it's Dead Space 2. Um, but basically, in those videos, I'm going to be talking about uh, explaining the plot of the game, what I thought about the plot, uh, the twists in the game, or anything like that, specifics about the game. So these, these videos are obviously for people who have either played the game or have watched my playthrough because these will contain spoilers, okay? Um, that's why I do it separate from the game reviews because the game reviews don't have spoilers, this one does. And, uh, you know, it's only for people who don't want the game spoiled and who have played it or watched me play it or watched somebody else play it, basically knows the plot. And want to hear what somebody else thought about uh, the plots and and uh, th that kind of stuff within the game. Okay, um, it won't be for every game, but it will be for games that I think have really interesting plot elements or really different gameplay mechanics or something like that. Okay, um, 
So that's basically what the kind of footage you're going to be seeing on this channel. So now, um, basically what I want to do is talk to you guys about the games that I will be playing uh, on the channel from now through the end of May, which is really the first half of the year where a bunch of games are coming out and then it kind of slows up over the summer. I also want to talk to you about a couple of big blockbuster games coming out that I will not be playing, okay, because of either I never played any of the games before it or just I'm simply not interested in playing it or simply I can't fit it in, okay. Um, just so that you don't expect one of these big games to, to be up here and then you're disappointed when they're not, alright? So the games I will be playing in order. Well, I got my very first one from Gamefly today. Uh, well, actually last night, but I'm going to be starting it today. And uh, that first game is going to be Killzone 3. Uh, I'm going to be putting it in my PlayStation and starting it up as soon as I'm done this video and I'll begin recording. Um, so Killzone 3 is first up on the list. Uh, the next game that will be uh, up on the channel is going to be the game Homefront. Now, usually I'm not a huge fan of military uh, first-person shooter type of games, but this one looks a little bit different. It looks like there's going to be kind of a little bit of a twist in it, some interesting, um, an interesting plot uh, from what I've read, and I think it's going to be different than most all the other war games. So I'm kind of interested to check that game out. Uh, as soon as I'm done with Homefront, I will be playing Crisis 2. Uh, now, I did not play Crisis 1, but there's a, all kinds of hype for Crisis 2. I also am intrigued in the plot of Crisis 2, from what I've read. And uh, it's supposed to be a graphically amazing game. I'm very excited for it. And so, uh, Crisis 2 will be next after Homefront, and that'll round out March. Now, when we go to April, uh, there's only one game, oh, excuse me, coming out in April that I'm going to be playing, and I'm going to be playing it a lot. Whoa, excuse me again, okay? And the game that... I'm referring to is Portal 2. Uh, I played the first Portal, I absolutely loved it. I uh, cannot wait for Portal 2. It's one of my most anticipated games of the entire year. Um, it's got a single player campaign twice as long as the original Portal and it's also got a, a co-op campaign which is completely different from the single player campaign but it's just as long. Uh, which I will also be playing with, with uh, one of my friends. Um, and uh, it's got all kinds of cool stuff for Portal 2, so that's going to pretty much dominate my April. Um, so basically Portal 2, the only real big release in April that I'm going to be playing. Um, now, uh, that will pretty much, like I said, be it for April. Now in May, uh, there's three more big releases. And the first one I'm going to play, another game that I'm extremely excited for, L.A. Noire. Um, it's Rockstar's next biggest game after Red Dead Redemption, which is one of my favorite games of all time. Uh, they're using revolutionary face capture technology that I've heard so much about. I hear it from everywhere uh, that this technology is really awesome. And uh, it's from Rockstar, so it's probably going to be really good. And I love the atmosphere. I love the L.A. Noir crime atmosphere, um, stuff like the Maltese Falcon and all that. I love that book and that movie. Uh, so I think this is going to be a really cool game and can't wait for it. So that's first up on the list. And then there's two games uh, at the end of May that are going to be released on the same day. And uh, those are going to be Brink and Fear 3. Uh, the first game I'm going to be playing is Brink uh, because I'm actually going to be borrowing Fear 3 from uh, my friend Tyler who is uh, a huge buff of the Fear franchise and he will be buying Fear 3 and uh, playing it so obviously I have to wait till he's done. So I will be playing Brink first which is a Bethesda game so I'm assuming that's going to take me a really long time to complete my playthrough of Brink and do everything I want to do in it, uh, which should provide ample enough time for, for Tyler to beat Fear 3, and then I'll be picking that up and playing it to round out May. It'll probably be in June, into June, by the time that I round out all these games, all right? Um, and there's two other games that you're going to be seeing footage of. Obviously, they're not going to be straight playthroughs because you can't really do playthroughs of these two games, so they're going to be coming up, popping up intermitt intermittently throughout the... Um, this time period and probably throughout the rest of the year for that matter. Uh, the first game is going to be multiplayer of Call of Duty Black Ops. Now, Ollie, I already have a ton of videos up um, from multiplayer up right now and uh, I did buy the first strike uh, pack so there's going to be more and more and more multiplayer again dispersed throughout you know the rest of the gameplay footage and things like that. Um, the next game, which I just bought today, actually, kind of su kind of surprised myself. I wasn't expecting to buy this game, but I did. Uh, I only had to pay $5, actually, for it. I got $55 worth of trade-in credit on some games today, so I, I bought this game for 5 bucks, and it's Marvel vs. Capcom 3, the fighting game. Uh, it's my first fighting game ever, uh, so I'm going to be doing a lot with it. I'm going to be trying to learn it, be doing 
arcade mode, mission mode, online matches, as well as offline with some of my friends. And um, so, again, two games you can't really do straight playthroughs of, but uh, a lot of footage can come out of them. So, Black Ops multiplayer and um, Marvel 3 uh, are the two games that you'll see footage of momentarily. Not momentarily, intermittently. I don't know why I said that word. Throughout the rest of the... Uh, the beginning of the year and probably throughout the rest of the year. Um, you may also see some footage of Fallout New Vegas. If you want an explanation of that, you can go check out my previous channel update, which is channel update number five. I do have a channel update six now, but in channel update five, I give an explanation about the Fallout New Vegas footage that you might see coming up. Okay. Um, now, some big games that I will not be doing. Um, Dragon Age 2. Not interested, I never played Dragon Age 1, and it's not just not the kind of game I'm interested in doing. Bulletstorm, I am interested in playing, but I cannot fit it into the schedule as it is now. Uh, that's probably a game I might pick up and play during the summer, but it will not be during the first part of this, okay? Um, Duke Nukem Forever is a game that has a lot of hype, but I never played any of the old Duke Nukem games, and after reading what they are, it just doesn't look like my cup of tea, okay? So I'm sorry. Uh, and Infamous 2, that's a big one. Um, I actually uh, didn't really play Infamous 1. I saw it played a whole lot, though. And uh, it looks interesting, but it, it's just... Uh, I, I wasn't actually a huge Infamous fan for whatever reason. Uh, I really didn't get into it. I know a couple of my friends will get that game because they really like Infamous 1 and play it. And I'll probably sit there and watch them play it for entertainment, but I'm not going to be playing it for myself, okay? I had to rush through it because uh, I'm kind of running out of time, all right? Um, so a few last things I want to add. Um, again, thank you guys for being on the channel, for watching this video. I uh, hope you guys get excited for uh, all the games coming out. we got some really good games that I'm going to be playing and I'm very excited for. And, uh, and I want to make this uh, an interactive experience, okay? So during these few months, uh, as this game start coming up, um, please, uh, my dog's about to go crazy. I think my dad just got home. Um, please, um, you know, comment on them, comment on my channel. Uh, you know, friend request me and subscribe to me. I want to make this an interactive experience. Obviously, as long as they're respectful comments and things, I'm not going to deal with all the, the hater, you know, nonsense. But if you want to leave a nice comment or a, a constructive comment about how I'm playing or anything like that, anything like that, please do. And uh, I hope you guys enjoy this. I know I will. And I look forward to playing all these games and, and sharing them with you over the next few months. So for now, I'm Voodoo51292. Thank you very much for watching. And the first thing that you're going to see is going to be Killzone 3 footage, which I'm about to jump into momentarily. So thank you guys, and uh, see you on the channel.